If you're in the market for a hybrid SUV, you have more choices than you might realize. Here, we compare two popular models from a pair of top automakers, the Sportage Hybrid and the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. The RAV4 might have a bit more name recognition than the Sportage, but is it the better buy? We'll review every aspect of the vehicles that may influence your decision so that you can decide which SUV is best for you. The Sportage Hybrid comes out on top in this head-to-head -head matchup. It has a starting manufacturer's suggested retail price of $28,590, compared to the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid's base cost of $31,725. If you're looking for a top trim model, the Kia still triumphs. The SX Prestige starts at $37,490, while the Elite RAV4 Hybrid Limited trim runs a minimum of $40,030. The Sportage Hybrid has a JD Power predicted reliability score of 83 out of 100, while the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid scores 76 out of 100. A JD Power predicted reliability score of 91 to 100 is considered the best, 81 to 90 is great, 70 to 80 is average, and 0 to 69 is fair and considered below average. Kia also offers a better overall warranty covering the Sportage with a 5-year or 60,000-mile limited warranty and a 10-year or 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Toyota covers the RAV4 Hybrid with a 3-year or 36,000-mile limited warranty and a 5-year or 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. Additionally, hybrid components are covered by an 8-year or 100,000-mile warranty, and the battery pack has a 10-year or 150,000-mile warranty. Both of these two-row SUVs accommodate up to five people. Each comes standard with cloth seats, with synthetic leather upholstery available. The RAV4's front seats are comfortable and spacious, though they can feel a bit firm. Two adults fit comfortably in the rear seats. Heated and ventilated front seats with power adjustments and heated rear seats are available. Every seat in the Sportage Hybrid is comfortable and spacious enough for adults. There's plenty of headroom and legroom, and the rear seats slide and recline. Power adjustable, heated, and ventilated front seats are available. The Sportage Hybrid offers 39.5 cubic feet of room behind the rear row and a maximum of 73.7 cubic feet with the second row seats folded down. That's excellent for a hybrid SUV. A hands-free power liftgate is available. While the RAV4 Hybrid also has good cargo space, with 37.6 cubic feet of room behind the rear seats and a maximum of 69.8 cubic feet, with the rear seats folded down, the Sportage Hybrid does better. The RAV4 Hybrid comes with a manual liftgate, a power liftgate and a hands-free power liftgate are available. The Sportage Hybrid offers a modern, good-looking interior with quality materials. You'll find a few hard plastics here and there, but they don't diminish the upscale feel of the cabin. The interior of the RAV4 isn't as impressive, though it's well-built and durable. Buyers will appreciate some quality materials mixed with hard and soft-touch surfaces, but the cabin is noisy when you reach higher speeds. The Sportage Hybrid boasts a standard 8-inch touchscreen or an available 12.3-inch touchscreen. Both offer clear graphics and a sleek look. A 12.2-inch digital instrument cluster comes standard, along with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and dual-zone automatic climate control. Buyers can add wireless device charging, rear USB-C ports, a panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade, and multicolor LED interior lighting. The RAV4 Hybrid provides either an 8-inch or 10.5-inch touchscreen, both providing clear graphics and easy-to-use menu layouts. Other standard equipment includes a 7-inch digital gauge cluster, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, the Hey Toyota Virtual Assistant, and dual-zone automatic climate control. Available features include wireless device charging, a moonroof, ambient lighting, and proximity keyless entry. The RAV4 Hybrid has a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and a pair of electric motors with a combined 219 horsepower and 252 pound-feet of torque. A continuously variable automatic transmission and all-wheel drive also come standard. The RAV4 Hybrid provides decent acceleration with a 0 to 60 time of about 8 seconds. The CVT shifts smoothly, though the powertrain can be a bit noisy during acceleration. 
The Sportage Hybrid packs a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine and an electric motor that combine for 227 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It comes with a six-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is available. The Sportage Hybrid easily gets up to speed and handily passes other cars on the freeway. The transmission shifts smoothly and swiftly. Both vehicles are hybrids and thus offer fuel economy that shouldn't disappoint most drivers. That being said, the Sportage does slightly better than the Toyota RAV4 in this category. Models with front-wheel drive get 42 miles per gallon in the city and 44 miles per gallon on the highway. All-wheel drive models get an EPA-estimated 38 miles per gallon in both city and highway driving. Fuel economy estimates have not yet been released for the 2024 RAV4 hybrid model, but they are expected to be similar to the 2023 RAV4 hybrid. The 2023 model gets an EPA-estimated 41 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway. The Woodland Edition dips to 38 miles per gallon in the city and 35 miles per gallon on the highway. While neither of these vehicles is meant to be a performance car, both are enjoyable to drive. The Sportage has a comfortable ride and feels confident around turns and in traffic. The brakes work well and don't feel mushy or jerky. The RAV4 also handles decently, with a supple suspension and minimal body roll. Some drivers may find that the steering feels vague at higher speeds, however, and the brakes are a bit soft. Neither vehicle has been fully evaluated by both the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gave the 2024 RAV4 Hybrid an overall safety rating of 5 out of 5 stars, with 5 stars in the side crash test and 4 stars in the frontal crash and rollover tests. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has not fully evaluated the Sportage Hybrid, but it gave it 5 out of 5 stars in the frontal crash test. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety gave Sportage the highest rating of good in all four crash tests it conducted, and the vehicle earned the highest rating of superior for its optional vehicle-to-pedestrian daytime front crash prevention system. The standard nighttime vehicle-to-pedestrian system received the mid-tier rating of advanced. This head-to-head -head competition isn't much of one at all, with the Sportage Hybrid sweeping nearly every category. Not only is it the least expensive of the two, but it also offers a more pleasing interior, faster acceleration, and better gas mileage. That doesn't mean that the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid isn't a good choice. It offers ample cargo space, plenty of standard features, and solid fuel efficiency.